Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. So there's a lot of scary discourse right now all about Devon, the supposedly first AI software engineer. There's a lot of talk on how this is the beginning of the end for programmers. Now I wasn't planning to make a video on this. There's already people much more qualified than me that have made videos on this topic. The videos by Prime and Theo are both great. I definitely encourage you to watch them if you are concerned about this topic. Now for me, I'm a solo indie game developer who is self-taught. I've really never done a software engineering interview or worked at some kind of big company. So when the topic is specifically software engineering, for that I'll leave that to people much more qualified than me in that area. Although I heard Prime say something really interesting. He asked his audience about their experience, which has quite a lot of beginners with no experience or less than one year experience, or even just one to five years. And he mentioned how it's actually very important to talk about this topic, because when beginners see headlines like this one, so is coding dead, killing developer jobs, how it's bad news for software devs and so on, when beginners see headlines like this one, they might be concerned, thinking that studying programming or computer science is no longer a valuable skill, and they get scared into think that they shouldn't pursue that career. So initially I wasn't going to make a video on this topic, but I figured the audience over here on this channel also has quite a lot of beginners who might also read these headlines and might also question themselves about whether this is a viable career, a viable skill in today's age, especially because most of the discourse that you see over here on Twitter, most of these messages, which I assume come from non-software engineers, most of it is having up this tune like crazy, pretty much taking all their marketing materials at face value. So if you were to read all of these comments, you would definitely think that this is the beginning of the end. If you get your news from Twitter, it does seem that way, when in reality it actually isn't the case. So if you're concerned about your future based on this, my answer is yes, I still believe that software engineering and programming is still an extremely valuable skill and will continue to be so for many, many years. Basically, my view on AI and the potential for displacing jobs and all kinds of things, my view on that is actually quite simple. It is really impressive. It's insane how much AI and all of AI tools have grown so much in these past few years. It's insane how it's already grown so much and continues growing even more. Who knows where AI will be in the next five years? And specifically, this Devon AI. It is really impressive what it can do, but at the same time, it's really impressive in the same way that a magic trick is really impressive. It is very fascinating to see what it is capable of, but not necessarily all that useful. Or at least not as useful as their marketing material would have you believe. So I do think AI is indeed already extremely powerful and will continue becoming even more powerful. I do think it will lead to more and more changes in society in general. However, I believe that in order for AI to be skilled enough to do the work of something like a software engineer, in order to get to that point, I think it basically needs to become AGI, so Artificial General Intelligence. And that, I still feel, is quite a ways off. And if it does get to that point, then I feel at that moment the world will completely change, either into a utopia or a dystopia. And personally, I feel it's really a waste of time to try to worry and prepare for that. So I wanted to make this quick video, just in case you here on the audience on this channel, just in case you are some kid maybe thinking about going to college and getting scared reading all of these headlines, wondering if it's still worth it to pursue computer science. For that, my message to you is don't be scared. Learning programming or software development is still an extremely valuable skill and it will continue being so for a very long time until the world completely changes and basically we're all living in Mad Max. Like I said, watch these two videos in order to hear people more qualified than me talk about this topic. Basically, the TLDR is this is really mainly mostly marketing. It is really an announcement targeted more towards VCs as opposed to actual users. All the examples are obviously very handpicked. They mention how it successfully completed real jobs on Upwork, but doesn't really mention out of how many they tried. If it completed the first random job that it encountered, that's pretty impressive. But if they handpicked one job out of several thousands, that's not as impressive. Then Theo also mentioned one extremely big difference between this and Sora. That's the OpenAI text-to-video tool. On this one, OpenAI was very clear about all the places in which it creates some amazing results. But then they also showcased all the places in which their model completely fails. And of course, there's the simple and fun fact that they themselves are also hiring human software engineers. So yeah, this is definitely an interesting tool. We are living in some interesting times. But especially if you are a beginner, don't get scared by all these headlines. 